Hey there guys, thanks for visiting my movie vlog. My name's John Campia and this is a video I decided to put together talking about the most recent comments from James Cameron. First of all, before I go into anything else, let me say this right up front. I love James Cameron and there's few people in the history of Hollywood who have been as successful in the realm of sci-fi as James Cameron. First of all, the dude has the top two grossing all-time worldwide box office films, of course, in Avatar and in Titanic. He's given us some of the most iconic sci-fi films of all time, like the Terminator films and Aliens. And on top of all that, he's also just happened to give us my all-time favorite action film in True Lies. So it needs to be said that my level of respect and admiration for James Cameron is almost limitless. But even with that being said, sometimes your best friend in the world does something really stupid and you just gotta call them out on it. And James Cameron in recent months has not been a stranger for putting his foot in his mouth. I mean, just a little while ago, he went very public and got lashed out on pretty heavily because he made these comments that Wonder Woman was actually a step backwards for female characters because they weren't as good as his character in Terminator. Now this brings us to comments he just recently made about the comic book genre, specifically about the MCU and the upcoming incredibly anticipated film Avengers Infinity War and James Cameron decided to put his foot in his mouth again when he said this. I'm hoping we'll start getting Avenger fatigue here pretty soon. Not that I don't love the movies, it's just, come on guys, there are other stories to tell besides hypergonadal males without families doing death-defying things for two hours and wrecking cities in the process. It's like, Oi. Yeah, James, it really sounds like you love those movies, like, oi. Now, I love and respect James Cameron, but there are four reasons why everything James Cameron just said is completely ridiculous. Number one, don't complain about the state of something if you're not willing to do something about it. You've been sitting in your little loft for nine years since you directed a film. You haven't directed a film yourself since 2009's Avatar. Nine years. Don't sit there and complain about the fact, oh, there aren't other types of movies if you're not gonna do something about it too. The second reason your statements are ridiculous is the pure hypocrisy of it. You're going to sit there and complain about, oh, they're doing so many of the Avengers films. Oh, I really hope people get fatigue of them. When you yourself right now are in the process of not making one, not two, not three, but four sequels to your Avatar film, and you're hoping that people get fatigue of another franchise? Oh, come on, guys. Let's do something different. Meanwhile, you're going to make five films of the same franchise in a row. The third reason these statements are ridiculous is that your statements make it sound like there hasn't been any other sci-fi in the last 10 years since the MCU's been around. What about Interstellar? What about The Martian or Inception or the one, two, three Planet of the Apes movies? What about Looper or District 9 or Sam Rockwell's Moon or Arrival or Ex Machina? How about Chronicle or Pacific Rim? What about Edge of Tomorrow? How about Snowpiercer? What about Gravity? I mean, we could go on and on, but your comments again make it sound like there hasn't been other types of sci-fi in the last 10 years, and clearly there's been a lot of it and a lot of really good stuff. None of yours because you're just sitting on your ass for the last nine years. And the fourth reason these statements are ridiculous is because, James, you're better than this, and these types of comments make you look like an insane secure child. Oh no, people are talking about Wonder Woman instead of my Sarah Connor. I'll crap talk on Wonder Woman. People aren't paying enough attention to Avatar and they're talking about this Avengers movie. I'll crap talk on the Avengers movie. It makes you look weak and insecure and somebody like you has no reason to feel weak or insecure. And look, I know I said four, but let me throw in one more fifth reason why these statements are ridiculous, okay? To sit there and actively hope for the demise of a franchise that is enjoying success and that people are loving and for you to sit there and just publicly say, well, I hope people get tired of it, makes you come across as completely myopic and frankly kind of douchey. And again, James, you're better than this. Anyway, those are just my feelings and observations about the statement by James Cameron. The question here is, what did you guys make of his statement? How did you react? Did you react to it the same way I did? Maybe you looked at it a little bit differently. Maybe you think some people are overreacting to this. Tell me what you think. Jump down to the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. And listen guys, while you're here, why don't you take a second, click on that subscribe button, become subscribed to my YouTube channel. Make sure you also hit that little notification button. Follow me on Twitter, simply at John Campia. That'll do it for me for now, guys. My name's John Campia. Thanks for visiting and until my next video, bye bye